why did the military stop using sandbags to protect their bases? For decades, sandbags were the absolute standard defense for protecting trenches, military installations, and forward operating bases worldwide. Soldiers filled thousands of bags manually, stacked them carefully, and relied on them completely for protection. But nowadays, modern armies rarely use traditional sandbags anymore for base protection. And while most people think it's simply because they don't work well enough against modern weapons, that's actually not the main reason at all. The real story involves engineering innovation and practical battlefield efficiency that changed everything. Because the military temporarily replaced sandbags with HESCO barriers, which are revolutionary foldable metal wire structures lined with heavy-duty fabric that don't just stop bullets effectively, but also absorb and deflect explosive blast waves significantly better than sandbags ever could. These barriers revolutionized forward base construction practically overnight. But even these impressive HESCO barriers created a major operational problem on the battlefield that planners hadn't fully anticipated initially. A single HESCO barrier pallet weighs over 2,500 pounds when properly filled with soil or sand. And without heavy equipment like forklifts or cranes available, it takes an entire infantry squad of 8 to 10 soldiers just to move one barrier into position. So setting up defensive perimeters still took way too long in hostile environments where speed matters desperately. Soldiers remained vulnerable during extended setup periods under potential enemy observation or fire. That's exactly why the military recently created the HESCO RAID system, an absolutely revolutionary 1,000-foot ballistic protective wall that deploys in just 60 seconds flat. That's 10 times faster than stacking traditional sandbags and significantly faster than older HESCO barriers too. This rapid deployment system uses innovative engineering, allowing small teams to establish defensive positions almost instantly. The technology folds flat for transport, then expands quickly into full protective barriers without heavy equipment requirements. Modern warfare demands speed, and sandbags simply couldn't keep pace anymore with operational tempo requirements. If you're fascinated by military innovation and engineering solutions that save lives, subscribe to What Happens If for more technology breakthroughs, defense innovations, and practical problem solving that transforms how modern militaries operate worldwide.